Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and in this video, I'm going to show you a U substitution shortcut for quicker integration. The key concept is going to be that the product of any real number and its reciprocal is 1. For example, 3 times its reciprocal, 1 third, equals 1. And that should be nothing new for you, but that is the key concept in this quick shortcut that I'm about to show you. So we start with example one where I have you integrate something and I'm going to start by doing it the old way using U substitution. I don't want you to write this down but I want you to watch and then I'm going to show you the new way and that I do want you to write down. Okay, so I've just done problem number one the old way using U substitution and now I'm going to do it the new way and I'm going to start by just rewriting the problem over again. Now when you're doing this integration shortcut, you're imagining what U would be and you're doing that little differentiation with respect to X as we had done in this step, but you're doing it, you're doing it in your head. So I would probably, if I were going to do the U substitution, allow this to be U and the derivative of that would be 10. But there's no 10 in the integrand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 10 in, even though it wasn't originally there. And I'm going to counter that by putting 1 tenth on the outside. And the addition of these two factors really equals 1. It really doesn't have any effect on the problem, but it does make it form fit to our template. So the integration at this point is going to be very, very simple. The 1 tenth is going to come down. And now we have a situation where we're finding the antiderivative of cosine of something and its derivative is present. So this is just going to be sine of that something plus c. And you'll notice if you look over to the left, we have the same answer that we had doing it the full u substitution way. So the shortcut is just sort of doing the u substitution in your head and then adding in any constant that is missing. Let's try another example. So now we're on slide number two, doing question number two. And I'm going to start again by doing this problem the old way using U substitution. I don't want you to write this down. I just want you to watch, but I do want you to write down when we do it the new way. Okay, so we've just done problem number two the old way using U substitution, and now I'm going to do it the new way. I'm going to start by just rewriting the problem. Now here's a case where the numerator is very, very similar to the derivative of the denominator, but not quite. So if I were to do a full U substitution on this one, I would probably be focusing my attention on this denominator, and I would probably allow that to be U. And if I did allow that to be u, its derivative would be 9x squared. Now we have an x squared in the numerator, but not the 9. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 9 in, and I'm going to counter that by multiplying the outside by 1 ninth. Now we have a situation in where the numerator is in fact the derivative of the denominator. So it follows the ln rule for derivatives. So we're, we're done. We can write the answer right now. The 1 ninth is going to come down. And now it's going to be the natural log of the absolute value of the denominator plus c. And this, of course, is the same answer that we got doing the full-blown u substitution. So if your u prime, if your derivative is just off by some constant, you can, in this shortcut, insert the constant as long as you counter that constant in some way. So here we inserted a 9, and then we countered it by multiplying by 1 ninth as well. Let's take a look at one more example. So this is our third and final slide of this integration shortcut on U substitution. So again, I'm going to do the problem the old way using U substitution, and I just want you to watch. And then when we do it the new way, I want you to write that down so you're familiar with those steps and you've actually practiced writing those down. So here I go doing it the old way. Okay. 
Okay, so I've just done the problem the old way using use substitution, and now I'm going to implement the shortcut that I've shown in the first two slides. I'm going to start by rewriting the initial problem. Okay, so I've written the problem out, and I'm going to imagine doing use substitution without actually doing it. If I did use substitution, I would most likely allow this to be u, and its derivative would be negative one half, except there's no negative one half present in the integrand. So I'm going to put in negative a half, and I'm going to counter that by multiplying by negative two on the outside. So these two values are reciprocals, and their product is one. So in doing this, I now have an integrand which is form-fitting to our integration rule. So I'll start by writing negative two, and we have e to the negative one-half x plus c, which is exactly what I got when I did it the long way.